Hey guys, Wet Movie one back here again for another Blu-ray DVD update video for you guys today. It's been about two weeks or so since my last one. Got a little stack of stuff here for this video today to talk to you guys about. And also my mom is going to pop in with her guest reviews a little bit later on in this video. So let's pop into these and show you guys what I got here. Uh, the first three up here are from Scream Factory. And this first one up here I'm very excited about talking about because it's my favorite uh, film in this franchise. Don't get me wrong, I love the original also. But this is the collector's edition of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2 here on Blu-ray. This is a two-disc loaded edition of this film right here. And if you don't know what the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 is about, it's a pretty much a sequel to the first one. It takes place 13 years after the events of the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. And now, like, you know... Throughout the last 13 years, the Sawyer family has kind of sort of been in hiding, but jumping in and out, you know, massacring people every once in a while, and then going back into hiding. And now there's a, you know, a, a sheriff, you know, played by Dennis Hopper, or, or like cop or something, sheriff, uh, who who's on the hunt for the Sawyer family to take, take them out, because one of his, you know, family members got murdered in the original film, and he's, he's out there trying to get, his, you know, his vengeance back. But yet, there's this lady playing by Caroline Williams who works at this radio station she's a DJ and things and uh, she was on she's like you know she gets a phone call because people call her call the radio station all the time asking her for requests to play stuff on the radio but she gets these two pranksters these two like college students you know on a joyride you know in the middle of the day or in the night or what have you just like prank, prank calling her all day and uh, during one of those prank calls uh, they get murdered by Leatherface and the, and the crazy crew and it, it all it all gets captured on you know the audio tape and she keeps replaying and replaying this tape on the air and uh, it stirs up the Sawyer family and they come after her and things and then it's pretty much Dennis Hopper you know trying to save the day um, I, I always kind of like this movie it, it's fun it's cheesy it's put out by Canon Films and it's directed by Toby Hooper the reg original director of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and I like about this edition you get the original uh, art right here with the Sawyer family uh, you know just sitting there like in the breakfast club kind of pose so I, I always like that right there but this Blu-ray here here, guys, looks fantastic here in 1080p. You also get a slew of special features on here, some commentary tracks, uh, behind-the-scenes footage. You even get that, what was it called again? Um, uh, man, I, I forgot the name of it already. Uh, it's like the, it's a feature length uh, documentary that was on previous editions of the film. I believe it's called you know the Saw is Family or it runs in the family. It's 88 minute long documentary which which goes in depth on the making of the film. If you guys have never seen it, definitely get this Blu-ray. You also get extended interviews with some some of the uh, you know uh, cast members that have sadly passed away. Uh, you also get a, a new Hollows Horrors Hollow Grounds where Sean Clark goes on the sets of uh, you know of these films and seeing what the sets look like now. Even though some of the sets are just like empty ass parking lots and things like that, and a lot, a lot of the locations do not look the same after all these years. But it was just really kind of cool how they added this on the new uh, collector's, collector's edition Blu ray of uh, Texas Chainsaw 2. Always really like this film. This new cover art is pretty awesome, also. But if you guys have never seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, what are you doing? Get it there. Get out there and get it, man. I know the original's good, but I love part two. And uh, next up over here is the new collector's edition, also, of uh, Death Becomes Her uh, here on Blu ray. This is a film I remembered liking uh, when I first saw it on VHS back in the day. It's just one of those weird, wacky, dark comedy films. Uh, in this film, uh, Meryl Streep plays this, you know, B Hollywood actress. She does stage plays. She does this. She thinks she's like the, the best in the world, the cutest in the world, and things like that. But yet she's starting to age and things. And she's, she doesn't like that. She doesn't like aging in Hollywood because she wants to look her best all the time. And, uh,. One one day, her arch rival and her husband come to see her in the, at a stage play. You know, like an art, old high school rival kind of person, and uh, you know. She ends up taking her her high school rival's you know husband away and marries him and things and it's just a whole thing about vanity and trying to look look their best until Meryl Streep one day you know uh, comes across this lady that has this potion that she takes to become young forever but yet you know there's a there's a consequence when you take that that potion that she took which you see on the back here with a little 
the little, I don't know, I always like this film. It's directed by uh, Robert Zemeckis, the same guy that did the Back to the Future franchise. Always a big fan of his. And on this Blu-ray here, you get a new uh, making of uh, featurette on here. Talking to the producers, uh, one or two of the cast members, and Robert Zemeckis himself about, you know, making, about the making of this film, which was really kind of cool. I wish they had, like, Meryl Streep and, like, you know, uh, Bruce Willis and stuff in there, talk, or Goldie Hawn talking about, uh, you know, their experience on making the movie, but they sadly didn't get them in there. But you get the vintage feature red on here, which is a, which was originally on the DVD, uh, which you, which you do get Bruce Willis in the cast talking about the film. But it does look fantastic on Blu-ray. Uh, like I said, you even get the original artwork uh, right here. But this is the one I remember the most, to be honest. You know what I mean? Like not this. But I remember this one a lot more, to, to be honest. But if I just want to let you guys all know that the new Blu-ray of Death Becomes Her is out on, out now. And uh, next up over here are two films I've never seen before until I got them on Blu-ray here. And the two films starring Anthony Perkins, who you guys all know from the Psycho films. And that is a, movie, a double feature pack here called Destroyer and uh, Edge of Sanity here on Blu-ray. The one I'm going to talk to you guys about today is the one called Destroyer. This is the one I dug the most out of the two. They're both they're both fun films. But if I'm here, I'll talk. If I I've talked about both of them. I'll be here all day. But Destroyer is about this, you know, crazy guy who's killed over 24 people, killed, raped, murdered, like a whole bunch of people, kids also. And at the beginning of this film, he's being put in onto onto an electric chair just to, you know, to, to take his ass out because he's just an evil, evil son of a bitch, if you know what I mean. Uh, and he's like, what was his name again? Moser. Moser. I had to look on the back to remember his name. And he's being put to death. But right when the switch is pulled and he's starting to get electrocuted. The lights go out, the power goes out, and a big riot happens. A, a, a big riot happens and erupts in this prison, and all this all this craziness happens. But then it flashes forward a handful of years later, and there's this uh, filmmaker and his crew in this in this same prison filming a movie about what happened uh, years ago in this prison and uh, this, the director of this film is uh, Anthony Perkins, and they're in this prison, this old abandoned prison, and you know. Filming, filming this film in there, but yet they don't know that this crazy killer could be let, could be you know hiding in this prison, prison cells, you know the prison yards or what have you. And uh, you have to see the, watch the movie to find out what happens when these filmmakers and actresses are in there making this movie. And uh, what what happens to them when they're filming this in the prison? It's it's just a really fun kind of movie. It kind of reminds me of uh, the movie Shocker a little bit, just a little bit, not not a whole lot. But I always really like Anthony Perkins. Anthony Perkins turns in a great performance in here as a director, just like telling people what to do. It, it's just a, it's just a really fun film if you've never seen it before. But like I said, you get uh, Edge of Sanity uh, and Destroyer on here, both starring Anthony Perkins. And if you're a fan of his, definitely pick up this Blu-ray set here. Alright everyone, and next up over here from Arrow Video US is the new beautiful box set, The Death Walks Twice, uh, here on Blu-ray. Uh, this is a, a double feature film pack here, loaded with special features. Uh, this this is actually a, a Giallo film uh, collection here. If you, if you guys don't know what Giallo is, it's like an Italian uh, word for yellow, I believe. And they have, there's like all these different versions of Giallo films. There's horror Giallo films, there's mystery Giallo films, there's you know all these different kinds. But this box set here contains two films. Uh, the death that wa death walks on high heels, and you also get the death walks at midnight uh, here on Blu-ray. And uh, the one I want to talk to you guys about is the one called the death death walks on high heels. And this one's about this stripper girl. At the beginning of this film, she loses her father, but yet she doesn't know her father was a jewel thief and stolen these jewels. And now there's this masked maniac that wears this mask that talks with a weird voice box, you know, next to his throat and things, saying, "Where's the jewels? I need the jewels." And uh, it's pretty much her going, holy shit, I don't know what to do. And it's pretty much her trying to get away, you know, from this thing. There's this whole crime element, you know, involved here. So she ends up moving away to, like, a different state and things. But yet this mass murderer is coming to follow her to try to get his jewels back, which her father stole. And, uh, but yet she doesn't really know all this. You have to watch the movie to find out how, how it all unturns or unfolds and things. But I really kind of like this film. Um, this one right here was not as cool, but I, I like this one a little bit more. But both these films are... Uh, remastered in 2K resolution over here. You get a, a slew of special features on both these uh, Blu-rays right here. So if you're a fan of Jalo films, because this one, these movies are kind of like more of like mystery, not 
more of horror, if you know what I mean. But they're really kind of fun, to be honest. Especially the Death uh, Walks on High Heels is one of, is one of the ones I like the most. It's the one I like the most that's in the set right here. But I just really like the packaging. They, they, Error Video always puts out beautiful package stuff here. All right, guys. And next up over here from Wergo USA is It Man 3 here on Blu-ray, starring Donnie Yen and Mike Tyson here. This is the third film uh, in the It Man franchise starring Donnie Yen. There has been, you know, other films in the It Man franchise. The first two starring Donnie Yen, and then there was two other ones that didn't, you know, have Donnie Yen in them. But I'm just a big, you know, fan of this whole franchise. I, 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 I dig it. This one right here takes place like a handful of years after the second film. And uh, Donnie Yen's just living his life in China or Japan or whatever it is. And, you know, just living his life with his family. His older son has grown up and moved away. He's still teaching classes every once in a while. But yet, there's this big real estate tycoon that's moved into town. That's terror Him and his group are terrorizing people. And this is led by Mike Tyson. And uh, his group is going into this school that, the, the, you know, uh, this local school next to it man's house terrorizing the terrorizing the people there kidnapping kids and things doing all this really messed up stuff and it's all up to Donnie and it man to go in there to stop all this from happening and get some of those kids back that got kidnapped and things I really like this film I thought the action sequences were just absolutely amazing the action choreographer of this film the guy that, you know that made the fight scenes was Yen Yu Ping the same guy that I believe that did the drunken master snake in the eagle shadow the films that made Jackie Chan a star back in the day and it's just really awesome to know that that he's still out there still working doing his th you know doing his thing in films and I really like his his action style to be honest because the very first two uh, It Man movies the action choreographer was Samu Hung who also starred in It Man 2 but like I uh, it's just really cool to know that Yan Yu Ping is still out there doing his thing and Mike Tyson in this film when, when, I, when I found out about that, when I saw it in the trailer, I'm like, how is this going to work in a kung fu martial art kind of movie? Mike Tyson. Hey, it, it, it played fine, man. Mike Tyson's in like four, maybe five scenes in here and has one big, you know, fight scene with uh, Donnie Yen in here, which was really kind of a cool scene with Mike Tyson doing his boxing stuff and Donnie Yen, you know, doing his martial art thing. It was just a really fun watch. I, I really got a kick out of this film. And if you guys love the other It Man movies, definitely check this one out. It's just really, really, really fun watch in my opinion. And uh, next up over here from Paramount is a season, is, is a, the complete first season um, of the Beverly Hillbillies here on a DVD. This is a sitcom show I always liked watching, of course, on re in reruns and things, because I was not alive when the show started airing back in the 60s. But this is one of my favorite uh, sitcoms that, and like I Love Lucy, classic-wise uh, sitcoms. And uh, this is the... Uh, the first time in a long time that seasons one as season one has been released on DVD because seasons two, three, four, the other one, all the other seasons have been released, but like season one is the one that's been out of print for like a handful of years now, and going for crazy amounts of money online, and this is the first time that Paramount has re-released it in, in many many years here, remastered, uh, you know, picture and sound quality. You even get an ex you get two versions of the pilot episode of you know of Beverly Hillbillies here, which is which was kind of interesting to watch because uh, in the first the first uh, episode the the original episode that aired on television broadcast the original broadcast version it was called um you know of course the Beverly Hillbillies but then on the in the extended version they call it uh, what's called uh the hillbillies from Beverly Hills like they had a different title you know for the show at first the hillbillies of Beverly Hills but then they just switched it around and called it the Beverly Hillbillies I think which I think works a lot better and plus the the extended scene the extended episodes like five or six minutes longer so you get to see different things that you didn't see in the original broadcast version and you also get to watch these episodes you know with original sponsored content you know what I mean like here eat your cut you know like in the middle of an episode here, eat your Frosted Flakes, you know, presented by Kellogg. You know what I mean? Like, it's just really kind of, you know, funny to see those things inserted. I like when, uh, you know, f uh, companies do that. They did that with the I Love Lucy show when they had, like, Lucy and Desi, you know, like, smoking a cigarette going, ooh, this is going down smooth. <laughs> and, you know, like, kind of things. It was just really kind of, you know, kind of funny to see them uh, added that in here. If you guys want the Beverly Hillbillies, come on, man. Uh, that's the Beverly Hillbillies season one here on DVD. Comes with five discs here of, of the whole series of the first season here definitely get this man if you haven't seen season one finally back in print man and uh, next up over here from Paramount also is Daniel Tosh's People Pleaser here on DVD this is his new stand-up special that just got released on DVD I believe it's his fourth 
or fifth comedy special since uh, his career started. And in this one, he, oh, he, he gets in some, he gets in some real cringy territory in this one. You know what I mean? Like, I really like his humor because he's kind of like the asshole comic. You know what I mean? The guy that you love to hate because he's always saying this, these little asshole things like making fun of 9-11, making fun of AIDS, making fun of cancer, like all this stuff, but making it funny. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of hard to, like, talk about 9-11 and cancer and different things like that and make you laugh about it. You know what I mean? That's what I, that's what I like about his humor. And, of course, he's from the Tosh.0 uh, show, which I like on Comedy Central. But if you're a fan of Daniel Tosh, definitely check out his 60-minute uh, uh, new comedy special here. Really, really funny stuff. He's a, he's a real douche, but I, I like him. Hi, it's me again. I'm back with two things to show you this time. The first one as usual, of course, <laughs> is my episodic television. But this one I really, really love. It's the sixth season of Hot in Cleveland. And I've watched all six. They're, I love them all. Uh, this one, it says it has, you know, twists and turns and certain guest stars and things like that. And what I really like about this series is that it takes no more than, like, I don't know, 30 seconds to update you of what happened last time, uh, for, you know, as you come into the new season. That I really like. Uh, it, you know, Joy is trying to decide of the three men who proposed to her who she's going to marry. Uh, she is doing her radio show. She, uh, you know, Betty White's character is now the councilwoman. And then, of course, Victoria as usual, always has some play or some movie or something in the works. So I've watched, uh, I think, the first disc. Really like it. I'd pick it up if I were you, especially if you've seen the other seasons. And even if you haven't, you don't miss anything. Good pick. The last thing I have to show you I was a movie I didn't really ever hear about. And it's called Lady in the Van. And, of course, I love Maggie Smith. Anything she does, I will watch it because she's so cool. She's, like, my all-time favorite. And this stars, you know, Maggie Smith and Alex Jennings. It's called Lady in the Van. And they call her a lady of uncertain origins. And she happens to park her van or ask to park her van one day in uh, Alex Jennings' driveway. Well... Then she proceeds to live there for the next 15 years. And this took place in Camden. The uh, actor who plays Alex Jennings, there is a real writer, Alex Jennings. Uh, but he and um, Maggie Smith first did this as a play. It was first written as a play. And then they decided to turn it into a movie. And, you know, keeping the same cast, and I believe even the... the uh, other sub characters are also possibly from the play. I'm not real clear on that one. Don't quote me. But they were also able to film at um, um, Alan Bennett, is the writer, I'm sorry, Alan Bennett. Alex Jennings plays Alan Bennett. But the real writer, Alan Bennett, had not sold the house that she had moved into, so they were able to do all the filming at the original house that this all happened. So I really like that kind of you know, backstage type of knowledge. Um, I really liked it. Like I say, Maggie Smith, you can't beat it. I'd pick it up if I were you. And uh, next up over here from the Warner Archive Collection is a film I've never seen before until I got this on DVD here. And the only reason I wanted to see it is because of the two stars that are in it. And that is Jack Lemmon and uh, Matthew Broderick here starring in the, the uh, A Life in the Theater. Uh, this, this, this is a made-for-TV movie about these actors. You know, one's played by Jack Lemmon, who's an older, more seasoned actor. It's been around for a long time. And Matthew Broderick's the new up-and-comer. And it's about these, these two guys in a play on Broadway or... In, you know, in, in, on stage somewhere, and uh, their relationship with one another, and how it kind of sways back and forth between be, between the two. It's more of like a, a talky, more act, and more of an acting piece than uh, I, I thought it was going to be. And to be honest, 
I really like the actors in here, I really do, but this thing would really kind of bored me, in my opinion. I'm really in the theater, I, I love the whole aspect of behind the scenes of, you know, making a theatrical play, because that's what I used to do, you know, growing up and stuff, in like, you know, junior high, high school, elementary school, like, I was always in plays and things, and watching, you know, watching stuff like that is very interesting, but this one was just really kind of boring, in my opinion. Great actors, but just not really well executed, in my opinion. It's just pretty much, a, you know, life in the, in the, in the theater. And uh, next up over here from uh, HBO is a season of a show I uh, of, a, of a series I really like so far, and that's called Silicon Valley uh, season two here on Blu-ray. Uh, it's pretty much about these really smart tech guys. You know, the one one guy makes this algorithm that you know that can really uh, handle a lot of good compression rates and things. I'm not really good at tech talk, but uh, it's the season two picks up a couple of months after uh, season one, and uh, the team has just won this award at this big tech convention and things and they're on a high right now but at the beginning of season two their investor passes away and now they're being sued by, by uh this other tech company that uh that so supposedly created this other algorithm that they think you know kind of m mingles with theirs and uh, they're being sued now and they have no idea you know what they're going to do now and uh, it's just them trying to figure out what they're going to do with the, in the situation that they're in but it's just a very hilarious show it doesn't sound like it's hilarious but it's made by Mike Judge the guy that created Beavis and Butthead Office Space you know all those you know amazing things that I loved watching back in the day especially Beavis and Butthead but uh, if you if you guys are a fan of season one of Silicon Valley, definitely check out season two here. It looks beautiful on Blu-ray. You get all episodes on two discs uh, right here. And my favorite my favorite guy in the whole show is Martin Starr uh, from Freaks and Geeks right here. He's, he, he always he always he makes me laugh. But check out Silicon Valley season two here on uh, Blu-ray. Really, really funny show. Alright guys, and next up over here from HBO is a show I've never seen before, and I, I got it, I got it sent to me, but I didn't, I didn't request it or anything like that, but I just want to let you guys all know that it's out now, and that is Veep, uh, the complete fourth season here on Blu-ray starring Julia, Ju Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Um, I've never seen the show before, I heard some mixed things about it, um, I, like I said, I, I don't have any of the other seasons, but I got this, uh, sent to talk about. But if you guys are a fan of the show, I just want to let you guys all know that this uh, fourth season is out now uh, on Blu-ray and DVD. But uh, next up over here, the last to be up for this video, guys, um, is sent to me from PBS Home Video. And uh, it's a show uh, I didn't know anything about until I got these because it just sounded interesting to me. And that is called Finding Your Roots, uh, the complete first season here on uh, on DVD. Uh, they also sent me seasons one and seasons, uh, no, seasons two and three also uh, here on DVD, which I haven't gotten to yet. I'll talk about these in future videos, but uh, if you guys don't know what this show's about, it's it's pretty much about these different celebrities like uh, you know um, LL Cool J and uh, Jimmy Fallon and diff you know different people like like Margaret Cho and Samuel L. Jackson and Michelle Rodriguez, um, all find trying to find out their roots and how you know where their families you know, were, you know, in the past and how far they can go back in the family history or family tree to find out what their family was about and what, what their family accomplished, you know, in their lives and stuff. And just so they can know more about, you know, their history and their families and things. And this show does that. You know what I mean? Uh, there's a host of the show that, you know, goes and, uh, and interviews different people and their families to get different tidbits on people's lives and things. It's a really interesting show. Some episodes are kind of boring, in my opinion. You know, when they talk about when they talk about certain certain celebrities are on there talking about their stuff. Like you know, it's called Martha Stewart. I don't really care, but like Samuel Jackson, Margaret Cho, like some of the actors that I really like. You get to really learn more about you know them and their family history and things. It's really kind of an interesting show. You really kind of have to be in the mood for it, to be honest. But that's uh, finding your roots here. Uh, it's the complete first season, uh, second season, and third season here on DVD. If, you, if, you're, if you're a fan um, of the show, I just want to let you guys all know uh, all three seasons are out now on DVD if you wanted to pick those up. But guys, thank you so much for coming by for my new Blu-ray DVD update video, and I'll see you guys all next time. Orders unite.